Right, my friends, so I've come all the way to Lowestoft on the east coast of England near Ipswich uh, because I've come to review a place called well 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 the bathhouse i think it's called and i'll tell you why because every video that i put out there is one of my viewers out there who keeps saying to me you need to come to lower stuff to try the bathhouse you've got to come to lower stuff when are you coming to lower it must be the most requested place ever honestly this guy i don't know whether he works there i don't know who he is or whether he just goes there has asked me to come to this place it must be over a thousand times he's emailed me he's put it in the comment section so i've come to Lowestoft today which seems a very nice place uh it seems a bit warmer as well than it does in the midlands as well and up north um so we're going to head over there now i sincerely hope that it is a good place because you know me i give an honest review and if he watches my videos then he must be sure of this place otherwise he definitely would not ask me to come to this place to review it so so we're going to head over there i've seen that they do fish and chips as well they do other stuff on the menu um so we're going to head over there we're going to mark it out of 10 going to give an honest review so uh it better be good i don't know who the guy is he's just requested loads of unbelievable amount of time so i'm kind of looking forward to it because it must be good unless he just wants me to annihilate the place. I've no idea. I don't know whether he works there, but I'm going to give an honest review. It does look very nice. I've done a little bit of research online and it does look a lovely place. So we're going to head over there and mark out a 10. If you're new to the channel, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button. It is absolutely free. It won't cost you a penny and it just helps push this video out to YouTube. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. You know what? I reckon next summer I'm going to do a tour of the UK around different seaside towns in the United Kingdom. Go round the whole coast because, you know, we all go overseas, etc., to places like Tenerife and Benidorm, etc., and Benel Medina. But we've got all this within our own country. And some of the places are fantastic. It's funny because I've just met a lady back there who says, Oh, have you got a YouTube channel? And I told her my channel. And she says, I watch another YouTuber who's from around here. I won't name him. I watch him as well. Uh, and she says, but I've kind of lost interest because he's going overseas a lot. And she says, and I like to see local places in my own country. So I reckon, yeah, next summer, I'm going to do a tour of the UK because you've got places like this. And we all, it brings back memories of our childhood as well. For me as well, personally, going to places like Morecambe and Blackpool, etc., and Skeggy. You know, I reckon it's absolutely fantastic exploring places that are in our own country and putting back into our own economy. So next summer, that's a promise, my friends. I'm going to do a tour of the UK. Let's get to this place anyway. Come on. Right, so it's literally one street back uh, from the seafront there. I believe on Waterloo Road, so we'll go and try and find it. Well, 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 here it is on Waterloo Road, the bathhouse. Now, I don't know why it's called the bathhouse, I'm not sure. Um, if I don't find out, you can pop it in the comment section down below. But as I say, this place has been requested for me to come and review it thousands of times by i don't i don't know whether he works here i've no idea but i've I, every video that i do he must make a comment you need to come to lowestoft 
So we're here, we're going to try it out, we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price. So let's get in there and then maybe he'll stop hassling me. No, he's not hassling me. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Keep watching. Keep watching once I've done it anyway. Maybe he might stop once I've done it. Come on. <laughs> Right, so here we are inside the bathhouse. Now, I did think it was open in the daytime, but it doesn't open again until six at night. So we're gonna have a look around and it's called the bathhouse because downstairs you can actually see through the actual, um, we're gonna to speak to Danielle, the owner in a bit and she'll tell you a little bit about it, but she's over there at the moment and she says she needs to put some makeup on first. And I don't know, she doesn't know the guy who's asked me to come along and review it. So I don't know, but let's have a look around. They actually do tapas on an evening. They do the fish and chips on a lunchtime. And I says, oh no, I've missed fish and chips. She says, I think we can sort you the fish and chips out. But they do some, they do some fantastic food as well. In fact, there's some pictures now that I'm going to put on screen that have been taken by Denise Brady. I'm going to put all her details in the description down below. Uh, but she's the food photographer here and uh, she's also on Instagram as well. I'll put that details in the description down below. Head over and give her a follow. The fantastic photos and it gives you an idea of what food they actually do. It looks fantastic. And then also after these photos, just take a look around and I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, okay, so here we are at the bathhouse. Well, well, well. Yes. Now it's because there's a well in there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Right, you're Danielle. Yes. You are the owner. Yep. And I have been asked over a thousand times to come and review this place. Wow. Uh, and it's by a gentleman that works for you, is it? Yes, it is, yeah, Ryan. Ryan, so hello, Ryan. I don't know whether you're watching, you probably will be watching. I've come to the bathhouse, so I've done it. So. <laughs> Thousands of literally, I have never had a place that's been requested to be reviewed so many times, even on my electric car videos. So, how long has this place been open? Uh, just a year. Just a year. Yeah. Excellent. And it's called Well, Well, Well because you've got a well in there. Now, on the B roll that you saw earlier on a few minutes ago, the sea comes into it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it comes underneath and it actually, you can actually see it. You can see the sea coming in there. Yes, there's lots of water coming lots in. Lots of water. Oh, fantastic. Now then, food wise, tonight you've got tapas on. Yes. However, because I'm not a massive fan of tapas, as you will know if you watch the channel, although it does look very nice, uh, if you look, because lots of people do like tapas, that's on an evening. On a lunchtime, you actually do uh, fish and chips. Yes which is very going to kindly do for me because I love fish and chips. I have to say though, I saw the breakfast, which you will have seen on the B-roll on the photographs that were taken by your photographer, which details are in the description. The breakfast looks phenomenal, absolutely amazing. Fresh tomatoes, I can literally taste them on the picture. So I'm looking forward to this. I've done the review, we'll mark it out of 10. Don't worry, Ryan, I've seen the food. It looks like a 10 plus. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna have the fish and chips. And uh, what days are you open? Um, 
Every day apart from Mondays and Tuesdays. Every day apart from Mondays and Tuesdays. I have to say, even though I, even though I always say I'm not a massive fan of tapas, your tapas actually looks better than the tapas that I've seen in Spain. So there we go. Anyway, we're going to head on in there. We're going to have the fish and chips. You've also got a sticky toffee pudding as yeah, well, haven't you? homemade as well. Everything's homemade. homemade. Everything's homemade. Fantastic. You've got a website as well? Yep, we have. I'll put the website in the description down below. And Ryan, I've done the review. You can just, you can ease off now. <laughs> and uh, it's a shame you're not here, Ryan. I can't believe it. You watch the channel, so I'm going to say hi to Ryan uh, and thanks for inviting me along to well, 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 the bathhouse. So let's get him in there and get these fish and chips. Right, okay, so we've got the fish and chips here now. It is haddock and chips. Uh, we've got beer battered haddock, crushed peas, chips and tartar sauce. So Ryan, I'm here, I've done it after the thousand messages to ask me to come and review this place. I will say first off, I know you're gonna uh, notice this already, it does have skin on it. Now, that's my uh, that's my bad because I could have asked for the skin to be taken off. I've already asked Danielle, she says they love to accommodate uh, their customers, so they could take the skin off if you don't want the skin on. However, lots of people ask for it to be left on, so uh, I'm just gonna go with it this time. It looks great, the batter's nice and crispy, and the chips look excellent as well. So, before we go any further, Take a closer look, my friends. Right, also you're going to say it's not very busy. That's because I've come in just before it opens because as I always say, uh, you don't want some loud, obnoxious YouTuber uh, shouting how crispy the batter is uh, and how white the fish is. So we're going to go in for this beer battered haddock here. Here we go, wow. And it's all locally sourced as well. So there you go, there's the beer batter and it's piping hot. So let's go in for this first. Now we've got the lemon on there. I never actually squeeze the lemon on it and few people actually pick up on that and say yeah, I should put my lemon on it. So we're going to pop a little bit of the lemon on the fish there. I don't like putting it on the batter because uh, it tends to make the batter soggy but and they've got homemade tartar sauce there as well. Mmm. Oh wow. That. Wow that's really tasty. You can taste the beer batter on it. Very very nice. going to try the tartar sauce. Love a little bit of tartar sauce. That's nice tartar sauce. That is very nice. Right, going for the chips here as well. There we go. Nice and crispy on the outer. Fluffy on the, wow, they are fluffy on the end of them. Very, wow. Actually, they are very nice. Mmm very nice chips indeed i'm going to go in for the peas the crushed peas to be fair there's not a lot of skin on it to be fair there we go very very thick piece of fish there look at that mm. now hot oh, incredibly hot don't forget, this is off the lunchtime menu. Uh, there's lots of different things on the menu here for lunchtime. Their breakfast looks amazing. Uh, if you didn't see that on the B-roll, here's another uh, copy of the, isn't the photograph of the breakfast, and that looks absolutely superb. Those tomatoes look fantastic. 
I wish I'd actually got here earlier and I could have had the breakfast and then had the fish and chips. The tapas as well looks absolutely fantastic. This is your lunchtime menu, but they've done this for me specially uh, as uh, I told her I like fish and chips. So Ryan, very good. It was a great recommendation. I'm going to eat the rest of this, uh, then come back to you and then we'll go over it. But so far, this is fantastic. The batter is gorgeous. I'm going to go in for these peas as well. Just look at them. Mmm, very, very tasty. Just look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Now, this is also a family business, and wherever possible, let's support family businesses. Uh, this would cost you uh, 15 pounds, which, as again, I say it's locally sourced. That is beautiful. And everything is homemade. That, that tartar sauce is fantastic. Right. Let your meat stop your mouth, as my mum used to say. And I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I'm going to eat the rest of this in peace. I've got to tell you though, the, uh, the batter's really, really nice. Uh, you can really taste that beer batter coming through. And the chips are done to perfection for me because they're not anemic. Got a nice golden, golden uh, colour to the outer. A nice fluffy on the inner there. Uh, really, really nice. But I'll tell you what I am going to go for. I'm going to go for the sticky toffee pudding. So I'm going to eat the rest of this and then we'll go for the sticky toffee pudding. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Mm. Right, so we've got the sticky toffee pudding, which I believe, my friends, uh, was originated in Cartmel in Cumbria. Now you can correct me in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure that I'm right there, because uh, as you will well, well be aware of, if you watch the channel, that I uh, spent a lot of my childhood in the Lake District. Anyway, before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Okay, so I'm not going to waste much time uh, going in for this and tasting it. We've got the ice cream there as well uh, and the sticky toffee pudding. Absolutely gorgeous. My favourite dessert. I believe it's Gordon Ramsay's favourite dessert as well. Oh, you know, yeah, I'm not going to film every angle of this. I'm just going to eat it and then come back to you after because it is absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Normally I would film me eating it, but... No, go away, leave me alone. <laughs> Please, see you in a minute. Mm. Right, well, let's get down to business then. So, um, all in all, that was absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, first of all, let's go through the bill. It came to 25 pounds and 20 pence. £15 for the uh, fish and chips there, £2.20 for my Diet Coke, uh, and then the sticky toffee pudding at £8. Um, now, that was the from the lunch menu, even though it is evening time. I'm going to wrap this up really quickly because it's starting to get busy now, and the last thing you want when people are having a romantic night out uh, is some YouTuber shouting about uh, the food. But Ryan, uh, after a thousand times of inviting me along to come and review this place, I have to say it is very, very refreshing uh, to review a family business. Um, 
You've got uh, Danielle there who owns the place. She's owned it for a year. She puts her heart and soul into it. Everything uh, is made from fresh, from local produce. You've also got a daughter working for her as well. Uh, a daughter was the uh, lady who brought out the food for me. So it's a, a really, really proper family business. So it's nice to support family businesses. Um, I reckon though, you know, I, I would say I'd, I'd ask for the skin to be taken off of the fish. However, there wasn't a great deal of skin on there and it wasn't the thick skin that you normally get. Um, saying that, you know, I'd probably, if, if I did come in an evening, I'd actually go for the tapas because it does look really, really nice. Uh, and I'm not a huge tapas fan, as you know, but it's great. What I would come back for, however, is the breakfast. The breakfast looks phenomenal. Um, absolutely superb. I may have to come back for that another day and try that breakfast. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Ryan, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a 10 plus, Ryan, because uh, you've, you've messaged me that many times. You deserve a 10 plus. You only missed me by about 10 minutes, by the way. Um, I'm going to give the food a 10. It was absolutely fantastic. And as I say, family business, which means a lot these days. And they put their heart and soul into it. So if you are round and about, or if you fancy a day out, get yourself down to Lowestoft, get yourself down to the bathhouse. I'll put their details in the description down below. Absolutely superb. By the way, that sticky toffee pudding was amazing. Homemade, homemade sauce superb loved it um I, you know i'd come back i had a really nice day to be honest so uh, there we go thanks for watching do it the thumbs up thanks for inviting me ryan and uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and keep watching there you go i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye